Hello and welcome. You're listening to the Healthy Moving Podcast, the show that empowers you to exercise less, but move more so you will feel better. I am your healthy moving enthusiast, Jen Hoffman from healthymoving.com. Today's show is all about vacations. Yep, it's already May and the unofficial start to summer is happening later this month. So I thought it was a good time to talk about that burning desire you have to get away from it all, escape to the beach or the mountains or the lake or wherever it is that you love to go. But I'm going to convince you today that that might not be the perfect solution to the stress and overwhelm that's making you want to escape. Stick around, friends. I was chatting with a friend the other day who is super stressed. She told me she's so overwhelmed and feels herself heading to the breaking point. Between work and family obligations, she has absolutely no time left for self-care. What I really need is a vacation, she exclaimed. I certainly understand how she feels. When I worked full-time in public accounting and ran a yoga studio with my husband, I had this cycle. Work 80 to 100 hours a week for six months, completely hit the burnout wall physically and mentally, and then go on a vacation for a week. But I look back at that season of my life, and I see how little those vacations really helped. Listen, I'm all for wonderful vacations. I think it's great to have time away from your everyday routine. And vacations are great for making memories, connecting with loved ones, exploring the world, and let's be honest, if you're like me, eating amazing food. But they aren't always practical. Sometimes budget or work demands or family obligations keep us from vacationing. And if you're in that place, it can feel a little trapped. I'm so overwhelmed and stressed, but I cannot get away right now. But let's just say you can get away. There can be so much pressure when you do to get the most out of the trip, the most relaxation, the most sightseeing, the most family bonding, and heaven help our stress level if the vacation falls short of those lofty goals. But let's just assume you can afford an amazing vacation, and it goes wonderfully. You enjoy the perfect mix of taking in the sights and relaxing pool or beachside. Everyone gets along and has a wonderful time. You get off the plane feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. How long does that last? Really? Maybe you get through reentry with some ease. You tackle the laundry piles and the inbox, still feeling pretty chill. But slowly, your routine catches up with you and... A week after vacation, you turn to your family and say, was it really only a week ago we were sitting on the beach? It feels like months ago. See, we have this cultural belief that we can ease the stress of our everyday life by escaping it. But friend, that's just a quick fix, a Band-Aid. The power to change your life is inside your everyday routines. Just like crash diets don't work because they aren't sustainable long-term. Crash stress diets, also known as vacations, aren't really the key to beating the stress and overwhelm so many of us are dealing with. So what is? What if you can't quit your job? What if someone you love is still sick? What if money is tight and you're struggling to make ends meet? What if you have pain? What if you can't change the stressors. What can you change? You can change the way you relax. You can change the way you approach self-care. Instead of needing separate time away to relax and recharge, you can learn to do it right in the middle of your everyday life. While you're commuting to work, while you're folding laundry, while you're making dinner, while you're at the grocery store, on the phone, at the computer. You do this. You get porous to the moment. You practice radical presence for two minutes at a time, right in the middle of your day. Of course, I like to do me some healthy moving while I'm practicing my radical presence. So for me, it might look like this. 
I'm standing in line at the grocery store with a baby in my arms. I have a choice. I can let my mind run away and do all the stressful things it seems to naturally do. Did I shut the oven off? What did she mean when she said that? I wonder if that thing is going to work out okay. What if it doesn't? You know, all the normal thought junk. I could do that or I could practice radical presence. I could shift my weight onto one foot and do a little pelvic list. As I do that, I feel my lateral hip come to life. Then I shift the baby to a different hold and notice which muscles that uses. Speaking of that baby, I smell his head. I lock eyes with him and enjoy that every part of his face participates in his huge smile. I feel my heart beating in my chest. I notice my breath. I notice the baby's breath. I notice the warmth in my hands. And then it's my turn to check out. Friends, this is a powerful way to spend two minutes. It is one of the best stress busters I know of. And the more you do these mini breaks throughout your day, the more you chip away at the stress and overwhelm that are making you feel like you need to escape. Sadly, the stress of our normal life is always waiting for us when we get back from vacation. If we really want to get rid of our stress and overwhelm, we have to transform it right in the middle of our everyday life. I'm so excited about this new class I'm teaching that's all about how to really make positive changes that improve our health and wellness when our lives are super busy. It's called the No Time Exercise Solution, my four-step system for women who don't have time to work out. If you want to improve your health or your stress level, I'd love to have you join me for the class. It's completely free. To register, just go to healthymoving.com forward slash free class, or you can text the words no time, there's no space, N-O-T-I-M-E to 33444. Again, that's no time to 33444, and I'll send you the registration link. I have received amazing feedback from the women who've already taken this class, and I would absolutely love to have you join me for it. Friends, the power to change your life is inside your everyday routine. I hope you embrace that this week. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I love answering your questions. If you have a question you'd like me to answer on a future episode, you can call me at 201-580-MOVE or click the leave me a message link in the show notes at healthymovingpodcast.com. I would also really love your feedback on the show. Head over to healthymoving.com forward slash iTunes to get the instructions on how to subscribe, rate, and review. And if you're enjoying the show, would you share it with your friends? There are links over at healthymovingpodcast.com to make spreading the word super easy for you. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, friend, keep moving.